The main innovation in mining now is the innovation of hydro and hydro cooling. This is a very affordable way to uh, be able to either push your chips harder. So if you're in a cooler climate, you can actually get a better return on capital by getting more hash rate out of your chips. If you're in a warmer climate, uh, it allows you to sort of run at nameplate or your, your, your base hash rate without having it uh, deteriorate when it's really hot out uh, from thermal shutdown. Hey everyone, Fraser Matthews here, President and CEO of NetCoins, a wholly owned subsidiary of Big Digital Assets. And welcome back to our CEO interview series in partnership with Blockchain North. Today, I'm joined with Sheldon Bennett, the CEO of DMG Blockchain, where we hope to have a really exciting interview focused on Bitcoin, blockchain and mining. Sheldon, welcome to the program. Thank you, Fraser. Thank you for inviting me and it's great to see you again. You as well. And Sheldon, tell us a bit more about DMG blockchain and the opportunity its investors have today. Well, that's a great question, Fraser. So for those that don't know, DMG blockchain is a crypto-based company. Uh, we started out as a Bitcoin miner and hoster. Uh, we've done a bit more since then. Uh, we're now into digital asset management through our subsidiary STC. Um, but I think, you know, one of the biggest points uh, that investors should know about DMG is that we are a diversified company and we're diversifying even more. So our revenue stream now and traditionally has been very much focused on crypto mining. But in the future, uh, I think you'll see that we're diversifying that out into digital asset management through our subsidiary STC. Uh, as well, we're making our foray into AI as many other uh, large uh, crypto mining companies are doing. Maybe tell us a bit more about your current strategy and where you see the most growth potential. Yeah, in regards to crypto, uh, systemic trust or STC, as we call it, is uh, probably the most interesting part of our new strategy. Um, it's really focused on uh, what happens after Bitcoin is mined and, and, and sort of hits the market. So, you know, there's a whole world of transactional sides to Bitcoin, not just the generation of the Bitcoin through the Bitcoin mining process. Obviously, NetCoins is a big part of that as an exchange that, that uh, allows people to trade different digital assets. Um, for DMG, we see that as a big part of our business. We don't want to be just a creator of a Bitcoin, but we want to be a transactor of Bitcoins and you know, generate fees for uh, those transactions for our investors and to, to grow our business. Outside of crypto, by far, our biggest growth area is in AI or HPC. The, the term goes back and forth. Um, However, as many people know, uh, AI is very capital intensive and it's a difficult business to get off the ground. And Sheldon, what's one innovation in mining that you think is going to define the next couple of years? I think the main innovation in mining, and it's been around for a couple of years, but it's really coming out right now, is the innovation of hydro and hydro cooling. Um, this is a very affordable way to uh, be able to either push your chips harder. So if you're in a cooler climate, you can actually uh, get a better return on your capital by getting more hash rate out of your chips. If you're in a warmer client, uh, climate, sorry, uh, it allows you to sort of run at nameplate or your, your, your base hash rate without having it uh, deteriorate when it's really hot out uh, from thermal shutdown. HPC has gone to hydro as well. So you're kind of seeing both crypto and HPC both gravitating towards hydro technology. We use it mainly in the summer months to ensure that our hash rate stays constant. Normally in the summer, if you watch uh, mining pools or you know mining industry, you'll see that during the daytime in North America, there's a significant drop in the hash rate uh, due to uh, air cooled miners overheating. Um, so you know we don't have that drop with all of our hydro uh, equipment running. Uh, in the winter, though, when it's quite cold out, it allows us to overclock. So we can actually push the chips harder and get more hash and create more revenue. And Sheldon, switching gears a little bit, maybe you could tell the audience what your role and relationship has been with NetCoins and how has NetCoins and, and big digital assets helped advance your goals at DMG? Well, we work with NetCoins um, primarily uh, from a business point of view on our, our trust company uh, and working with NetCoins with that. As well, um, we also use NetCoins for trading. Uh, we use their OTC desk. Um, we find their trading is probably the most responsive for us, at least as an, you know, a corporate client. Uh, and one thing that we've made very clear with anybody that we work with is the 
speed in which transactions are completed and payments are made. And we've been very happy with NetCoins on, on both of those. Well, we appreciate working with you a lot. And Sheldon, maybe what's one thing that others might not know or expect about working with Big or with NetCoins? I think, as I just sort of said, that the OTC desk, uh, how fast it is, um, I have yet to contact it and it not be there with somebody uh, waiting to do a transaction and do it quickly. Um, when people in Bitcoin mining companies trade, they're all a little bit different, but um, normally somebody's watching what's going on with the Bitcoin price and they always want to trade when it's heading up, not when it's going down. Um, and so, you know, minutes make a big difference. The, mm -hmm. the Bitcoin price can drop two, three thousand dollars in a few minutes and it can go up in a few minutes the same way. Um, and so th what I found with Netcoins is that I can get in, do a trade with, you know, under a minute, uh, have that trade confirmed and have my wire sometimes same day. So, I mean, that's hugely important um, for, you know, Bitcoin miners to get the maximum out of the Bitcoins that they generate when they want to turn it to fiat. Well, we appreciate working with you on that one, Sheldon. Uh, by 2026, DMG blockchain will be known for a plank. Well, 10 years, uh, 2026 will be our 10 year anniversary. So that will make us one of the oldest and maybe the oldest uh, Bitcoin mining company in Canada. Uh, not sure public or private, but, you know, definitely a 10 year, uh, uh, you know, lifespan in this industry is feels like 100 years. Um, okay. And so, you know, Def, we're definitely going to be known for outlasting many crypto winters. Uh, we're going to be known as good stewards of capital. We're going to be known for having a very strong balance sheet. Uh, we're going to be known for what we're calling HODL 2.0 or this sort of Bitcoin treasury. We're one of the smallest Bitcoin companies by market cap, but we have one of the largest treasuries uh, for the size of company we are. Um, and so we've done a great job in, you know, efficiently mining Bitcoin you know, holding as much as we can and only selling what we need for operations and some capital growth. Well, a lot of success and a lot more to come in, in, in not only next year, but in the next 10 years for you, Sheldon. Uh, where can we follow your progress? Yeah, you can follow us. Um, we're, you know, publicly listed. So DMGI is our ticker We're on the Toronto uh, Venture Exchange, OTC as well. Uh, for those in the US, uh, you can easily get access to uh, our stock as well. Uh, you can get all your information from any of the different uh, platforms that talk about stocks. Um, we also have, you know, Twitter and YouTube and so on and so forth. Easy enough to find. Amazing. Well, Sheldon, thanks so much for the time today. We appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.